Uh, hello everyone, and welcome to Chicken Run for the PS1. Yep, guess you got the good old PS1 working. Let's do this. Game in it. If I'm not nearly Ultra Instinct. I love the music in this, I swear. This is a good. You can see me, can't you? Hello. Yeah, I got a bunk bed. <laughs> you can tell I'm very mature. <laughs> I have no clue what half of these are. Um, oh, we can do level select. There's an act one boss? Hey? Okay, I guess we're going. Let's go! Now you see, this is a cutscene. But this is a PS1, like a, not even a new one that's been made recently. This is a old vintage 90s PS1. So I think I'm not gonna do a cutscene, which could, you know, potentially have something bad happen to it. We need to get out of here, and I've come up with a brand new plan. Well, Ginger, Ginger likes to hear it. Yes, Ginger. I've noticed that some parts of the fence are quite rusty. And I wondered if we could cut through it. Aye, that boat. We could just... Okay, sorry for the cut, but basically, um, what's going to happen is apparently Mac. Yeah, your name's Mac. Uh, apparently needs us to go get some wire cutters consisting of. I don't know, old stuff, so let's do that. What the heck? I have no clue what's going on, but the controls on this are horrible. Especially given the fact that you don't have any joysticks, so you're using four directional arrows. Oh. I picked up a piece of the map, and now I gotta run. Okay. <laughs> I quickly checked through this game before and I never figured out you could do that, so that's some crazy. Thing. Hi. Oh, I'm something else in the radio. Oh, there it is. See, it's trying to do it. Put the broken shears. And now, if I'm not mistaken, we just need to get into this hut right here. Maybe it's the hut around. Are you? Okay, we're back. Got the shares again. Trying to do this quickly this time. Oh, we made it, we made it. Guess it. Okay. Oh. Do you need this in here, Babs? No, sorry, Ginger. I don't know where that goes. <laughs> you could ask Mac. She's in not 17, you know. Yeah, I know.
That's some real. Right there. I'm up to it. Hey, we have them. Now we just need to get back to the hut. With, you know, the other guy. Mac. Ugh. There. <laughs> I was in the corner the whole time. Can't whistle, but I'm gonna try. Oh. Let me in. There we go. Shoot. We have our stuff. Mac. I managed to avoid the dogs and find the other blade you need. Aye, that's brilliant. Well done, Hen. Now, placing the bolt I already have through the centre of the two whilst crossing them in a 90 degree fashion, like so, give her a wee bit of a tweak and hey, presto! <laughs> Wire cutters. I know that makes me chuckle. I hope they'll be strong enough. Hey, presto! Well, remember, it'll only work on the rusty fence wire. Oh, yes, thanks, Mac. Now, I have to be able to get through the fence to get things for our next escape attempt. But what then, Hen? Well, it's a bit extreme, but... If we could disguise ourselves so that the dogs don't recognise us, then we'll be able to get out of here. That's I think dumb. we may be able to dress up as Mrs. Tweedy. Do you think it's possible? Hmm. Sounds like a tall order to me. I can't work miracles, but we might pull it off. If you can find some poles, some boots, some gloves, but the key element is Mrs. Tweedy's long dress. Okay. If I were you, I'd check round the back of the farmhouse. Okay, you work out the details and I'll get everything you need. Babs will be great for this. She's over in hut 16 and we'll make the disguise there. I've tried running. Right. I've, I'll take the things over there. I've done sure all this thing before. And still, now, it's <laughs> annoying. Because the dogs just seem to know where you are all the time. Like, they're psychics. And it's so annoying. Running away from the dumb dogs, and you lose one piece. Like if you get all the different things and you get caught, then you lose. So it's really annoying. Let's go into this hut. This explorer, I haven't explored. I just got on with it. But you know what? Let's let's do something good. Let's do something good. Is this the military hut? Oh no, it's just um... Just... The... What what? What what yourself? Okay, well... Uh, basically... You know what, I'm gonna show you what I have to save it on. This is what I have to save it on. It's weird. Like this is how big it is compared to my thing. It's it's one megabyte. There's one megabyte on this thing, and it's as thick as my phone. You know what? I'm gonna save this a bit. Let me try. I'm gonna not just yet. I'm gonna wait a few more minutes. Maybe it gets to ten minutes. That's good. Plan. Yes. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, you dog bugger. I'm on that. Me and my homies on that. Jesus Christ. The bunty eggs press. Collect as many eggs as you can. Pressing. I'm okay. I think I'm just gonna quit. So the only two people are really a Mac and Babs. Anything in Babs hut? Ginger, I'm making a lovely disguise of Mrs. Tweedy in here. Yes, 
and I worked out a list of things you need. I'll let you know if I find anything. Okay, so that's what we're going to do, but you know what? You just got a run time, so... Let's go and save the game, and I hope you enjoyed this. It's a new series, because it's the only one I have. Oh, oh. oh Jesus Christ. So, uh, sorry about the quality, but this is a PS1, and I don't exactly know how to connect this to YouTube, when I'm pretty sure it was discontinued before YouTube even existed. You know what, turn that down a bit. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, and if you didn't, well too bad, I don't have any other content except a ton of PS1 games, so this is what y'all gonna get. See you in a bit.